Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is episode 7. 7 of the quest for every Halo hero. And my goodness, in the last six episodes, we have made some progress. Over 35 Halo heroes have been added to this table and we don't show any signs of slowing down. No siree. If you're new to this series, we are, by any means necessary, collecting every single Halo hero ever made. I'll rob a store. I'll commit tax evasion and spend the money. I'll move to China, open a factory and start producing these secondhand. I don't care what it takes. I'm going to collect them all in this series. Boom. And inside are some Halo heroes. As always, folks, let's take a closer look. My friends far and wide, we have six characters to open today. Two sealed, four unsealed. Really, really excited about this one. By the purple outlook, you might think ODST Lang. No, it's Cortana. This is a figure that I've been wanting to bust open for so long. It's been like half sealed. Look at the state of this packaging. Half sealed in my wardrobe for so long because I've been waiting for this series to open it. Here's the full lineup of the mythical legendary series 10. Chief Tartarus, Rookie, Yap Yap, Noble Six, Prophet of Mercy, Spartan Cat, Didact, and Arbiter. 10 figures leading up to this last one. And yes, I mean last. This is the final Halo Heroes Series 10 that I needed. Okay, and it comes with some really special accessories, some really special characters. I've never seen this before, folks. I've never held this in my hand. This is really, really nice. I'm very impressed with her head. I have seen some images online where this does not look good. C.E. Cortana. I love this painted effect all down her body. It's so cool. And the choice to make her fully translucent and then paint over the top, I think works really well. Even those blue eyes, which traditionally I don't think that would work, but it really does in this figure. And she's got her gold base plate. I would have liked it to say something like C.E. Cortana, but that's okay. Oh, and what does she have here? Her data chip and the index. Ah, oh, so nice. Look at that. I mean, obviously you couldn't actually cut that out because it's too small, but having it on one of these data chips works perfectly. She holds it up like that or sort of like in her palm. There, sort of like that. That's nice. That's really nice. Then this chip while fairly basic, can be held by, say, the Master Chief, of course, and that works really well. Obviously, super, super oversized, but that's basically all you could do with it anyway, so no worries. Cortana comes with those two accessories, and then this rod pops in the back of her base plate, and that supports the one, the only 343 Guilty Spark. No real changes have been made to this over the years, but I don't mind. The red eye is super menacing. I saw a lot of people wishing that it had the blue eye, uh, but it only comes with the red. That's a real quality figure. That's like, that's bang for your buck, man. Like that's two named characters and the data chip and the index all in one set. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. And that completes my Series 10 collection. Let's hear it for Cortana and Guilty Spark. They had to go together. Five more figures. We're going to smack these two together. They're one of the same. Look at this. They're ODSTs, both of them, and they go hand in hand. We've got ODST Lang in all her glory and... ODST Grey. It's really great to see these both side by side. After Series 11, we thought that maybe they would have just moved past Fireteam Raven. You know, moving on to Halo Infinite, it looked very unlikely to most people that they would go back and retouch that. But now Halo Heroes Halo Universe Edition, the possibilities are suddenly endless. I played it once two years ago when I was in Minnesota, and I plan to play it a lot more when I get back to America. All right, there we go. That was ODST Lang. We'll get into the details of her in a little bit. And we've got ODST Graves. They just, I, I, I would be really excited to have a full set of these. Like, you know me, ODSTs are my bread and butter. When I found out that Fireteam Raven was just going to be focused around ODSTs, I thought it was just the greatest thing. Big shout out to my Helljumper boys. I... <laughs> Oh gosh, I do just, uh, I love my ODSTs. They're absolutely fantastic. He's looking really nice. That metallic visor, the fact that it's so dark blue is really nice. I guess the ODSTs as well as the Spartans can kind of just choose their own armor colors or at least Fireteam Raven would have you believe that. They can just uh, pick whatever they want or maybe it's just the most elite ones, the ones with the most experience. I have no idea how it would work. I would like to think where this series will have gone by the time we're on episode like 20. Maybe once we've got them all, we'll just keep on opening them, you know? 
know what I mean? <laughs> ODST Graves. ODST Lang. What a perfect duo. I thought I'd open them together. I got them at different times, but I combined the parcels. Um, they have very different color schemes, even though they're on the same team. They've got very uh, different color schemes on their shoulders, even. Like, they're very, very different. If you wanted to be, like, a Halo Combat of all purist, you'd buy, like, 20 of this figure just for all those assault rifles. Probably the best way you could get those. Dark colors on the visors. This crimson and dark blue are really excellent. And there's just a lot to offer here. I like the subtlety of this, uh, this the sparing amount of purple compared to all this blue. But yeah, they make a really good team. I can't wait to complete it. All right, so here's my thinking. We've got Cortana, right? And this is a episode about UNSC Intel. Cortana was made by a very special person and she'd want to be there to look after little baby CE Cortana. We've got Catherine Elizabeth Halsey. I got online, I believe. It doesn't come with the uh, Cortana. It's just the Halsey, but also I kind of need a replacement Halsey right now because mine is not looking too good. Let me tell you that, not looking too good. Hong Kong is a super humid place. The humidity here is, is kind of offensive. Like the whole time I'm recording these videos, I can't have the AC on because of noise. So I'm sweating all the time, man. I'm sweating every day. Honestly, before the time you can even dry yourself, you're already covered in sweat again. So that, that's, that's a little rant from me, <laughs> but this is Catherine Halsey and I'm replacing my one. Let me show you my one. Where is she? The humidity of Hong Kong causes soft plastic to crack and break. So that's what my Halsey's looking like. She's on the brink of total brief. Unfortunately, the same goes for my Captain Keys. Her rest in peace flood form. I mean, at least the flood has sort of freed itself from Keys. Maybe Keys broke out of the flood from his brute strength. All right, so Halsey, this one's looking quite good. Uh, always this Halsey has a problem with the paint leaking from her face to her hair, but the lab coat is good. There's, there's not much to say about this figure, honestly. And it's a bit weird that her hair is exactly the same color as the coat. We need our civilian figures occasionally. We we need uh, we need Cortana's creator, you know? Look, look they're, they're best buds. I mean, they're the same person, essentially. It's hilarious that in Halo Infinite, the same voice actress might be voicing Cortana, Halsey, and the weapon. That's just so funny to think about. Two more figures. Now, let me tell you, Cortana's here. She's, she's, she's in charge, but who's she commanding, you know? She needs her boyfriend. The Master Chief Mark V armor. It's really nice to read Shadows of Reach. I've had a really great time, took my time reading it. Just so nice to, to hear pretty much everything, like the, the events of Shadows of Reach are cool, but just to hear everything through the Chief's sort of uh, voice. It's just been great to, to hear about the Chief and like how he's feeling after Halo 5 Guardians. But then also it's great to read uh, Halo the Flood and Halo the Fall of Reach and also here from the Chief's perspective. Big shout out to the OG CE Chief. Most people wouldn't even know why they're buying a figure and it's like covered in frost. That's our UNSC Intel so far. What have we got last? So this is not Combat Evolved theme. The back of this packaging has Spartan Jun, Grant, Chipmaster Letvolia, Spartan Helljumper, and the Athlon. Can you tell me from these five figures what the sixth one is? AI Roland. Because I thought to myself, if we're having an episode with Cortana, why don't we have her her rival? Oh, is she a rival? Is he a rival now? Ooh. Another packaging that I've sellotaped together many times just to keep waiting for the correct moment. All right, here we've got our Spartan. Spartan, here we've got our AI Roland. I was very surprised when they announced this figure. I really didn't think they would do anything like this, but I guess like Roland is a big part of 343's journey. He is 343's AI, so it kind of makes sense. Roland, uh, he's, he's decent. I like how he uh, squares off against Halsey. I like that he hasn't defected to the created yet, at least as we know. First glance, you would think it's just yellow, but actually you can see all this like painted, etched on, uh, sort of like, sort of wash. I don't know what you would call it. Just dark yellow paint. It works well enough. I wouldn't say it's bad. I wouldn't say it's good. It just, uh, it just works. You can very faintly see the UNSC text there. Maybe this is Requiem. You tell me. I'd like to think it is. I think he, he looks great. I would like to know. Maybe... I feel like that's a Call of Duty head. There is Roland with his AI companion Cortana and her creator Halsey and her created Master Chief and Master Chief's uh, fighting side by side with the Chief. You see the Chief actually appears in uh, Fireteam Raven quite a few times. Let's zoom out and check out our catch for today. Folks, let me tell you. 
Believe it or not, we are looking at over 100 Halo heroes. Over 100. And we're about to add six more to the table. In today's haul, episode seven of the quest for every Halo hero, we got hold of the AI Cortana, the AI Roland, Dr. Halsey, Lang ODST, Graves ODST, the Master Chief with Cryo Frost. This is uh, actually a really great completionist episode for me. I needed both of these AIs, so I'm very happy with that. And I needed a new lab coat for Halsey. So all around, really, really great. Folks, we're seven episodes into the quest for every Halo hero and I still don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I got more parcels on the way, and every time I get one, I'm going to unbox them with you guys and add them to this monstrous haul, this absolutely monstrous collection of Halo heroes. So thank you so much for your support on this series so far. I hope you're having a great day. I'm gonna see you back here for episode eight, everybody. I don't have a teaser word for episode eight yet because the figures haven't arrived yet. Try and figure out what I don't have and maybe you can predict what's coming next. As always, this is the quest for every Halo hero. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there guys, and we'll see you next time. The haul for today is signing off. Dun 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 dun. <laughs>